Hey folks, this is Kalani. Looking at the brand new item in the trading post, we've got a nice fancy sickle. So, the Unbreakable Permanent Harvesting Sickle. Consortium Harvesting Sickle. Invented to survive the South Sun Seas. This tool has unlimited charges and the same efficiency as an Orichalcum Harvest Sickle. Available for a limited time only. Now, remember the mining pick that we got with the Molten Alliance, that's actually gone now. So the limited time only is limited time only. They're not just lying about this one. So, how much does it cost? It's currently 800 gems. Exactly the same as the mining pick was, which may or may not be warranted, I'll be honest. It's a harvesting sickle. Whatever, either way, you're not going to run out of charges. So once again, it's completely... It's one of those items where you don't need to bother to look if you've got a sickle anymore. It's not necessarily a power upgrade, but if you play Guild Wars 2 for years to come, you may end up saving some money if you transfer gold into gems. Maybe. Maybe. So, does this thing have any shiny effects? Yes, it does, viewer. Yes, it does. So, go ahead and equip it. As you can see, it's doesn't look that shiny, I guess, but we've got a nice reaping animation, which is a little odd. You're basically mining. So if we can avoid these reef riders as much as possible, you may also notice Let's get rid of the Reef Rider. South Sun's still a little laggy, but you notice if you look closely at the Passiflora, you actually get a watery animation as well. Not quite as in your face as the Molten Pickaxe, but still relatively nice. I don't fully understand why we're now completely destroying and reaping the plant instead of just picking from it, but never mind. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I'll see you next time.